Hi everyone, for the 2023 pack, uh, a modelling question using parametrics has been added. So this is the end of your second lesson, I think. Yeah, no, oh hang on, sorry, no, third lesson. Third lesson. Right, so it says, Hisham and Arthur are designing a Hot Wheels track, as shown below. The model the curve with x equals the two equations from time t equals 0 0.2 to time t equals 1.5. So the horizontal distance is x, the vertical distance is y. Uh, a is at the point t equals 0 0.2, so I've got t equals 0 0.2 there, and b is at the point t equals 1.5, so I've got t equals 1.5 there. They decide that the track needs a vertical support uh, at the lowest point, so this is where your vertical support is here. So it says find the length of the support. So this is, this is at the minimum point. So my plan of attack for this question for part A will be to find the time at the minimum point using dy by dx is zero. Then sub that time to y equals, so that's my plan of attack, so let's give it a go then. So we know for parametric differentiation, I just need to uh, differentiate each equation and then put them together. So we've got 2t to the minus 1 plus 1. So if I differentiate it, the x by dt will be minus 2t to the minus 2. Oops. So let me make sure that real clear. So T to the minus 2. Y equals 5t plus 2t to the minus 2. So dy by dt is 5 minus 4t to the minus 3. Now I want dy by dx. So dy by dx. So the way I do it is dy by dt divided by dx by dt. So dy by dx will be 5 minus 4t to the minus 3 all over minus 2t to the minus 2. Right. Hmm. So I know, so that's my equation for it. So I'm going to look at the minimum when dy by dx is equal to 0. So I've got 5 minus 4t to the minus 3 over minus 2t to the minus 2 is 0. So I'm going to get rid of that bottom line. So I've took it up and multi be multiplied by 0. So I've got 5 minus 4t to the minus 3 is 0. If I take it over and then take the t down, I've got that. Then if I switch, I've got t cubed is 4 fifths. And then if I do the cube root of it, gives me 0 0.928 seconds. So on my plan, I found the time. So now I just need to sub it in. So y is equal to, so it was 5 lots of 0 0.928 plus 2 over 0 0.928 squared. So the height I've got here is 6.96 centimetres. So that's your height of the support. The length, I guess, if you want. Yeah, so that's part A done. So I found where the minimum point was, and then, because if I'm multiplying it up, it disappears. And I've got 6.96 centimetres. So that's part A done. Part B does find the acute angle that the car makes with the horizontal as it leaves the track. Right, so let's have a think about that then. So my car zooms off like that, and I want that angle there. When it zooms off, it's actually going at a tangent at that point. So it might not be obvious, but it leaves at a tangent. 
So I'm going to use that idea that as it shoots off, it's like sort of tangent to the curve at that point. So what should I put? So it says actually flies off at a tangent to the track. So I know that's at t is 1.5. So if it's at a tangent, I know I'm going to be using dy by dx. So I've got dy by dx at time t is 1.5, because that's where it flies off the track. So my dy by dx I had as 5 minus 4 lots of 1.5 to the power minus 3 over minus 2 lots of 1.5 to the minus 2. So, as an exact value, it gives me minus 103 over 24. And if you look, that gradient is negative, isn't it? It's going down. It might be travelling upwards, but the gradient of it looks like it's negative. So that's nice. Now, here's a little bit where it's a little bit sneaky. This here is the gradient, isn't it? It's the gradient of the tangent at the point. Now, when you first started doing in one of the earlier packs, right at the start, when we first started looking at gradients and stuff, even at GCSE, actually, you'll have forgotten that the gradient is tan theta. It's a change in y over a change in x. So for my little triangle there, what I'm saying is, my change in y, it's got 103 up. My change in x, it's gone 24 across. There. So if I look at that for a gradient, so tan theta is So they've done it here as a positive, it's 103 over 24, I might check that, because it seems to me that it's pulling one side. No, no, it's all good, it's all good. And then if we do inverse tan of that, you get 76.9 degrees there. But it's this bit here that you'll have forgotten about. And we've never particularly linked the fact that the gradient of a tangent to the point it's the same as tan theta at that point. We've never had that link. So that's why this specific question's in there. So I hope that's okay, everyone. So we're saying that our angle is 76. And it says acute angle, so if you had put the wrong one in, you'd have got like 180 to take it, and you just have to sort it out from there. Right, well done, everyone. See you later. Bye-bye.